police cleared the scene not even an hour ago and a memorial has already started coming together. Neighbors lighting candles outside of the home where the baby was found. Now earlier this morning, the woman who lives inside that home says she heard her dog barking in the backyard. So when she went to go take a look, that's when she found the deceased baby lying there. Right, Brian. So the council did approve this ordinance and the majority of the meeting consisted of public comment. Then council addressed what was said today before making the unanimous decision. The meeting started at 11 this morning and in just the first two hours of the special meeting, nearly 40 citizens all spoke before the council and Mayor Jerry Dyer opposing this ordinance. It's so dangerous because most parts of the canal are up to 10 feet deep. Behind me is one of the strainers that catches a lot of the debris in the canal. You can see that water is rushing so quickly, making it easy for you to be swept away. And there were many homes where the fire came right up to the backyard, but thankfully it was put out just in time. A special city council meeting will be held on Monday to formally introduce this ordinance, which takes effect starting September 15th. We're told campers will be given a 24 hour notice before they are removed. Hi, Eric. Well, last week, Cal Fire confirmed that the improper use of a lawnmower caused the French fire in Mariposa County. The fire burned more than 900 acres and 18 structures were damaged or destroyed. You'll remember the June complex fire in the basin fire were caused by lightning. Now Fresno County Supervisor Nathan Magzig says this time if a fire starts, it could be much worse. Hi, Eric. So dairy cows are actually susceptible to heat stress, which can decline their milk production. So it's important to keep these animals as cool and comfortable as possible. Our total herd size right now is about 220, but we're only milking about 85. While the cows are free to roam around, the whole herd prefers to stay in the barn. Well, we have water at both ends of the barn and in the middle. That way uh, they don't have to walk very far to get water. The barn also has soakers and fans. If we were to just have soakers, they want to keep them cool. Uh, because with the fans, it helps to create evaporative cooling. If we just had the water, the water would just stay on them and they'd stay hot. Fresno State's dairy manager Andrew Ridgeway says they monitor both cows and calves for heat related symptoms. They'll pant heavily, they'll be drooling. You'll notice they might not come up and eat as much. And if they start running a fever, we do simple things as pouring rubbing alcohol on them. It helps cool them off and bring down their temperature. The milk produced here will go to the creamery, which then makes its way to the campus market in the form of ice cream, cheese, or other dairy products. Reporting live in Fresno, Hannah Gonzalez, KC24, Local News That Matters. Hannah, thank you.